Listing Diario Editorial for February 8th of 2023. That balloon must be exploded. This country is not in a position to create legislation to admit, with rights and privilege, that many Dominicans do not receive foreign immigrants who enter illegally as victims of human trafficked crimes. In principle, such legislation will encourage, instead of stifling, the perverse business of a few coyotes or border soldiers who promote the illicit traffic of immigrants, as is the case with around Mexico. And if the state was not able to comply with Law 169-14 of naturalization and regularization of the migratory status of foreigners who lived and worked here before 2013, it is doubtful that it can assume the refuge scheme that the project that now will create is discussed in the Senate. If the state has not enforced the regulations of the labor code that establishes that 80% of the employment of a company must be made up of Dominicans, it will be almost impossible for it to promote the insertion of the immigrants received in paid work, which is not those with unemployed Dominicans. The submission of this project to Congress could be seen as a trial balloon to measure the degree of approval or rejection of the population. Just at the moment when the crisis in Haiti is seen and qualified by the government as a serious threat to national security. This being the case, nobody escapes the intrinsic danger involved in opening a legal door so that Haitians, mainly claiming that they are fiend, famine, violence, or insecurity, enter in mass to take advantage of the many benefits of asylum, all included. The majority also intuits that this project is a tailor-made suit without concealment to the pressures that the country receives from the international community so that we are part of the solution to the crisis in Haiti, venting refugees here and not in their own territories. By the way, in none of them have camps or care centers been open for victims of human trafficking who bid to enter from different latitudes of the world, guaranteeing them the right to work, social security, medical assistance, protection of their physical integrity and emotional, and finally, the condition of residence or not their allies. For Listin Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez.